coming in you guys we're back with another Jimmy makes science simple short and I have another brand new study this one is actually a June 2021 study I know it's still only April but for some reason in this journal microbial pathogenesis June 2021 is already published uh, the title of the paper gut flora and metabolism are altered in epilepsy and partially restored after ketogenic diet. So those of you that follow my work, you know one of the big benefits that we know about a ketogenic diet have very strong evidence for over a hundred years has been used for this purpose is controlling drug resistant epilepsy in children uh, with this condition and so controls the seizures. So what they wanted to see was some of the mechanisms as to why that happens. And one of the theories is that the ketogenic diet actually alters the gut microbiome. So they wanted to examine that. Children with drug resistant epilepsy has been associated with an altered microbiota as well as a higher level of diversity compared with the control group. The abundance of the eight epileptic associated genera was reversed after just six months of the ketogenic diet treatment. So they looked in the fecal matter after six months of the ketogenic diet and they all saw diversity increase uh, and highly correlated with gut bacteria. So this is real exciting. So in the abstract, the objective of the study was to investigate the composition of the intestinal microbiota and its association with fecal short chain fatty acids in children with drug refractory epilepsy, meaning they're resistant to the drugs helping them, both before and after treatment with a ketogenic diet. So what did they do? They conducted what's called a cross-sectional study of 12 children with drug-resistant epilepsy and 12 matched healthy controls to compare the changes in the fecal microbiome as well as those short uh, chain fatty acids. So they got 12 epileptic children who did not do well with the epilepsy medications. And then they got, I assume, probably a similar age, similar height, similar weight, child who is healthy as a control. Disease cohort also underwent analysis both before and after the six months of the ketogenic diet. So what did they find? A higher microbial alpha diversity and a significant increase in actinobacteria at the phylum level and enterococcus, anaerostypes, bifidobacterium, bacterioids, and blaudia at the genus level were observed in the children with drug-resistant epilepsy. The abundance of the eight epileptic associated genera was reversed. In other words, all those ones I just mentioned to you, bad news for these kids and could be a contributing factor to their disease state. After just six months on the ketogenic diet treatment, they saw decreases in bifidobacterium, acromansia, enterococci, uh, I can't say all of these ones, but enterococci and actinomyce and increases in the good things, subdolagranulum dialister Allopravotella. Here, you can look at those words. They are like almost impossible to say. <laughs> the point is uh, the bad decreased and the good increased. So got better overall. In particular, we identified some taxa that were more prevalent in patients with an inadequate response to the ketogenic diet. So not every child with epilepsy responds well to keto. And their theory now is, based on this research, that maybe it's because some of those kids don't see the changes in their bacterial uh, composition of their microbiome as other kids who do see the changes. Furthermore, a significant correlation was observed between the change in the microbiome genera after the ketogenic diet treatment, the short chain uh, fatty acids content in the fecal matter after six months on the ketogenic diet treatment increased and was highly correlated with the gut bacteria. This is so fascinating, you guys. Dysbiosis of the microbiome could be involved in the pathogenesis of those children with drug-resistant epilepsy, which can be relieved by a ketogenic diet by a large extent. 
gut microbiota and microbial metabolism could be major contributing factors to the anti-seizure effect of the ketogenic diet. Guys, they have been looking at epilepsy and the ketogenic diet for a century. This could be groundbreaking for those kids that don't see improvements when they go keto. I wonder if now they do things to shore up the gut microbiome along with keto, which also helps to shore up the gut microbiome, that they'll see even more results. This is exciting for those in the epilepsy world, but I would even extend it beyond epilepsy because we know a lot of the epilepsy research is now being used as a basis for further research on other brain and neurodegenerative types of diseases. So stay tuned, this is good, good news. Now it's a small study, don't get real excited about 12 kids, but the point is if they can prove it in a small study, they're gonna do larger studies, and then who knows, what about Alzheimer's disease? What about traumatic brain injury and some people maybe not responding well? What about other brain health types of things that a ketogenic diet helps with some people but not others. What about the ones that it doesn't work as well with fix their microbiome and the ketogenic diet heals their body? Pretty fascinating, right? That's it for this episode of Jimmy Makes Science Simple Short. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll be back again soon. Hey guys, you know I'm all about healthy nutrition and I have a brand new product I wanna tell you about called Athletic Greens. This is not just a multivitamin. It has 75 essential elements that you wanna have in your diet, from probiotics to greens, to digestive enzymes, to prebiotics. There's so many things that they pack into the Athletic Greens. The main reason why I love them is it puts it all in one place. Like, literally, you'd have to uh, a la carte by all of these different supplements and they do it all in one package. So if you go to athleticgreens.com slash Jimmy uh, and you can get a special discount if you go there and the discount is you get a free one year supply of their vitamin D as well as uh, some of their travel packs. Go check it out you guys. Athleticgreens.com slash Jimmy.